the motion um, on sexual health services, and I'm very pleased that this is being seconded um, by Assemblymember Copley from the Labour group. Uh, last week, we marked World AIDS Day, and we remembered the profound and tragic impact this pandemic had on London, the hardest hit city in the UK. And while public policy, and in particular health professionals in London, have had incredible success in bringing HIV infection rates right down, there's still a lot of unsafe sex going on in London, judging by the significant rise in other sexually transmitted infections, and there's a huge need for public health work and prevention, as well as treatment. Nationally, rates of syphilis and gonorrhea have increased by 16% and 23% respectively, and London accounts for almost half of the cases reported in England. And despite this backdrop of record demand for services, I investigated council funding recently and found that in total, sexual health service funding from London boroughs has dropped from a total of 176 million in 2013-14, after responsibility was transferred to councils, to 148 million in 2017-18. This is a 16% reduction. This is money that is really needed to keep vital programmes going, from prevention education to treatment for a wide range of sexually transmitted infections, as well as contraception and specialist advice. For some people, even asking for help for sexual health problems can be a barrier to accessing services. But the situation is worsening as Londoners are having to compete for appointments or even being turned away, in some cases, from clinics who are struggling to meet demand. I very much commend the Assembly's Health Committee, who have also investigated and raised these issues with the Mayor and the Chair, my uh, Assembly colleague, uh, Dr Sahota. He's written to the Mayor to ask him to step in in the clinics question. We recognise, as we say in our motion, that although the Mayor does not control where councils make cuts, he is able to exert his political influence, in particular through the London Health Board, to make the case to London councils for supporting sexual health services as a priority within health budgets. In addition, I've noted in my response to the Mayor's health inequality strategy that while this does have a focus on HIV prevention, it does not include measures to help support wider sexual health services and contraception. We think this is a gap, and that though the Mayor responded with concern to the Health Committee's letter, he should be taking a more active role in monitoring services and encouraging more funding and asking for more focus from councils and health providers on this. We can't afford to take our eye off public health and prevention on this issue and realise too late that we're making a mistake. The motion asks for the Mayor to use his influence to convince councils to make it a priority, to keep these vital services open and accessible for anyone who needs them, and I hope the whole Assembly today will vote for him to do to vote to urge him to do this. Thank you.